I'm Arya's chair, Jim Park. And this show is all about food, culture, and neighborhood. Today, I'm going to take you to a place that I call a second home, which is Sawtelle Boulevard, the only neighborhood in West LA where you can find some authentic Asian cuisine without having to drive 40 minutes out to San Gabriel Valley. This is a hidden gem that most people probably have not heard about. Have you heard about this place? Never heard about it. Most recently, food trucks have been popping up, gourmet chefs have been coming out here, and I want to take you to some of those spots so you know where to go when you come to West LA. Well, you're making me hungry, so let's do that. Let's do it. We're here at Sujita LA, also known as Artisan Noodle on South Top Boulevard. I am showing Jim my favorite spot to get noodles here. This place is quite special. It's not just your typical big bowl of ramen. Pork is so good. It just literally melts off onto your top. Thing. What do you think of this place so far? I love this place. It's a really cool ambiance. Mm -hmm. Really hip. Yeah. And uh, all the smells make me really hungry. Let's, Let's order. order. Let's order something. We're here in the heart of the Asian community on Spring Mountain Road in Chinatown, Las Vegas, which sprawls for blocks and blocks. And tonight we're going to take you to some of the locals' favorite Thai, Vietnamese, Japanese, and Filipino restaurants and cafes. How long has this area been around? Uh, essentially, Chinatown next door was a brainchild of a couple of Taiwanese uh, investors in 93. Grand opened in 1995. And ever since then, it's just kind of been expanding. Like you said, in 2001, this building was new, or uh, this building was a year old. But so this whole strip, when did it start to develop? 95 until now, it just keeps building and building. So it's less than 20 years old, this horror. Yep. And so it expanded that much in that short period of time? Yeah, now K Town is about two and a half, three miles down the street. Where's K Town? About three miles that way off of Rainbow and Spring Mountain. Really? restaurants in town. Yeah. When you pull into that parking lot, you just like, you can't be a restaurant here. It's sketchy. <laughs> really sketchy. So this neighborhood that this restaurant's in apparently was the original Asian community, Chinatown. And so way back in the 70s, apparently this is where the Asian, Asian Americans were encouraged to live in this neighborhood. So a lot of their businesses were located here. But obviously, over the last 20 years, uh, they started to move over to uh, to the other area that we were at earlier. This is where all the Korean nationals go to have the best kalguksu in town. So this is a real stuff, then. Yeah, this is as real as it gets. Well, let's get some. Okay, let's go. <laughs> this place is well known for their kalguksu. Right. Yeah. So. Um, kalguksu, do you know what kalguksu is? Okay, so kalguksu means, kal means knife. So basically what they do is, you know, you know they have a flour and um, you know, they, they chop up the noodles with um, a knife. So they call that, um, you know, the kalguksu. And then it usually comes in an anchovy broth. So they have like chicken, beef broth, but the most popular is the anchovy broth. So we're going to try the um, Olympic kalguksu, which is delicious. the anchovy broth kalguksu. So we're literally on Olympic. Yes. <laughs> and we're having a noodle that's cut up like a knife. Yes. So it's the most descriptive meal you'll ever have. Yeah. <laughs> Hello to all the wonderful Aria professionals. This is Jackie Ung from the LA chapter. And as you can see, Jim Park and I have been in production for the last few months on the newest Aria media project called Noodle Town. This show is all about food, culture, and neighborhood, and we'd love to come to your town. We want to hear from all the chapters about the Asian district in your area that's dear to your heart, the yummy noodle shops, and how this area brings the Asian community together, whether it's Chinatown, Little Tokyo, or Filipino Town. Our mission is to have fun while tasting through the streets, as well as bring insight to the rest of the world on the history of these neighborhoods.